this flower of Israel, St. Joseph, and the faith of Abraham, the piety of David, his ancestor, the wisdom of prophets, a patience more heroic than that of Job and of Tobias, and a zeal greater than that of Elijah for the glory of God. Blessed Gabriel Allegra. Patience is virtue that many people find hard to practice. Remaining peaceful and calm can be very challenging when you find yourself in a situation that is completely out of your control. Indeed, there are countless things in life that will test your patience. In modern times, advances in technology have almost everything in life at our fingertips. Our meals, entertainment, music, and contacts are instantly available to us. With this capability, it can be difficult to wait and acquire the virtue of patience. If you want to be like St. Joseph, however, you must learn patience. Blessed are though all those who wait on the Lord. Messiah 30, verse 18. St. Joseph is a model of patience. Life was not easy for St. Joseph. His mission required a lot of waiting. If St. Joseph did not accompany Mary on her journey to Elizabeth's house, he had to wait three long months to see his wife again. When St. Joseph observed that his wife was pregnant, he had to wait for the Lord to reveal what he wanted him to do in response to the wondrous pregnancy. Such trials of patience must be extremely challenging for St. Joseph. St. Joseph used them as an opportunity to grow in patience and holiness. He mastered every opportunity. St. Joseph exhibited heroic patience in Egypt, taking his wife and newborn child to a country with a different language, culture, religion, and currency must have been, must have filled his heart with anxiety. Finding work in Egypt and providing food and shelter for his family could not have been easy. What husband and father would not be in constant state of anxiety in such a situation? He had no idea how long he would have to stay in Egypt. Yet, in every situation, St. Joseph was always peaceful, kind, and abandoned to divine providence. Exercising patience does not mean that a person will be free of the anxiety of life. When Mary and Joseph lost Jesus for three days in Jerusalem, we are told that they search for their beloved son with great anxiety. See Luke chapter 2, verses 48. They were greatly concerned, but had boundless confidence in divine providence. St. Joseph will increase your patience. You, too, are going to experience many trials in life. Trials that will test your love and your patience. Whether you like it or not, your patience is going to be tried. Hardly a day will go by which you will not be given the opportunity to acquire patience. God allows such trials because he wants us to grow in virtue. A concrete area in your life where you can exercise the virtue of patience is by being mercifully merciful to others, especially when you know their faults. St. Joseph lived with two perfect people, but he must have frequently encountered unpleasant and difficult people. Employers, co-workers, tax collectors, politicians, etc. You too will experience unpleasant people in life. In such instances, imitate the patience of St. Joseph. Ask God for the grace to love your neighbor. Be kind, peaceful, and merciful. In the workplace, 
We offer forgiveness for offenses. On the highway, be patient and courteous. With difficult family members and friends, be pleasant and merciful. Exercising patience and mercy always brings about good. The loving, patient, and merciful person is always victorious in this life or, or the next. He, St. Joseph, was always imperturbable, even in adversities. Let us model ourselves after this sublime example and let us learn to remain peaceful and tranquil in all of life's circumstances. St. Joseph Morello. The Litany of St. Joseph. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. God, Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray, pray for us. Noble offspring of David. Pray for us. Line of patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God. Pray for us. Chase guardian of the Virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most courageous. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workmen. Pray for us. Glory of domestic life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of the holy church. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household. And brings on all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose the blessed Joseph, to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You, who live and reign forever and ever, amen. Amen.
Let us call to mind our sins. And ask the Lord, Lord, let us forgive us. I confess to Almighty God, Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, for what I have done and what I have failed to do, to my faults, to my fault, to my most spiritual fault. And therefore I ask, blessed Mary, and the all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me and me, all my God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who filled St. John of God with the spirit of compassion, Grant, we pray, that giving ourselves to works of charity, we may merit to be found among the elect in your kingdom. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. This morning's Mass is being offered for Mary Scornicini, Scornienci, Domingo Fernandez, Maria Luisa Luis and Paulina Davis. A reading from the second book of Kings. Naaman, the army commander of the king of Arnon, was highly esteemed and respected by his master. For through him, the Lord, had brought victory to Arnon. But valiant as he was, the man was a leper. Now the Arnons had captured in a raid on the land of Israel a little girl who became the servant of Naaman's wife. If only my master would present himself to the prophet in Samaria, she said to her mistress, he would cure him of his leprosy. Naaman went and told his lord just what the slave girl from the land of Israel had said. Go, said the king of Aram. I will send along a letter to the king of Israel. So Naaman set out, taking along ten silver talents, six thousand gold pieces, and ten festal garments. To the king of Israel he brought the letter, which read, with this letter, I am sending my servant Naaman to you, that you may cure him of his leprosy. When he read the letter, the king of Israel tore his garments and exclaimed, Am I a god with power over life and death, that this man should send someone to me to be cured of leprosy? Take note, you can see he is only looking for a quarrel with me. When Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his garments, he sent word to the king, Why have you torn your garments? Let him come to me and find out that there is a prophet in Israel. Naomi came with his horses and chariots and stopped at the door of Elisha's house. The prophet sent him the message, Go and wash seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will be healed, and you will be clean. But Naaman went away angry, saying, I thought he would surely come out and stand there to invoke the Lord his God and would move his hand over the spot and thus cure the leprosy. Are not the rivers of Damascus the Abana? and the far part better than all the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be cleansed? With this, he turned about in anger and left. But his servants came up and reasoned with him. My father, they said, 
If the prophet had told you to do something extraordinary, would you not have done it? All the more now, since he said to you, wash and be clean, should you do as he said? So Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan seven times at the word of the man of God. His flesh became again like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. He returned with his Lord to, to the man of God. On his arrival, he stood before him and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the earth except Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial psalm. Be thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst, a thirst is my soul, soul for the living God. When shall I go, go and behold, behold the face of God? God? As a hind longs for running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A, a thirst, thirst is my soul, soul for the living God. God. When shall I go and behold the face, face of God? A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the heart, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zarephath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elijah the prophet. Yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman and the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But he passed in the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. These stories that Jesus tells to the people 
was after he had said, The Spirit of the Lord of God is upon me, and he has anointed me to come and anoint the sick, except for the prisoners to be, and on and on in the, in the fourth chapter of the Gospel of Luke. What made the people angry was the seemingly outrageous statement that he made after that. Today, this gospel is fulfilled in your hearing. For a lot of re reaction by many of them that said, well, you be claiming these things for yourself. Who are you to be preaching in the synagogue? They have the privilege of reading from the scriptures and preaching. Jesus answered with them these examples that we can find anywhere in our scriptures when we read the Bible consistently. And it's all based on one, on one crucial thing. When we are in need or when we are sick or in danger and when we pray to the Lord, what do we expect? We hope that he will come to our rescue. Especially when we're not feeling well, when we feel like we're in danger of dying. When we pray to the Lord for healing, do we believe it will come about? Maybe it will, but maybe it won't. But we pray for it. Everything depends upon our trust and our hope and faith in Him. We ask for your healing, Lord, praise you if you do. And if you don't, just still God in life. That's upon faith. I've gotten this sense in many of the visitations that I've visited people when they have asked for a priest to come and anoint them in their homes. Afterwards, I not only anointed them in their homes, they asked me even further for something more. Bring me Jesus. And I said, I'll do the best I can to come as often as I can. I can't promise you that I will come every week, but I will come as often as I can. And if you get desperate, call. With many of these people, and just the people who are so stricken with their affliction that they were paralyzed from the neck down. And their wife had to feed them. But the beauty of the thing of visiting these people and seeing these people is the faith that they had. And I marveled at them and admired them because it seemed to me that their faith was not in vain. They really believed and they prayed and prayed and prayed until the day came. God be praised. They were healed. So it is similar to the story that we have just heard. Now we'll finish in a minute. We look out at the world today and we see the troubles that, that afflict us. Primarily this crisis that we're going through right now. The crisis of health. And we are asked to do certain things. And it is up to us to decide whether we will do them or not. 
And whether it will help us or not, we don't know. We can only ask and believe. And when it happens, to praise Him and thank Him that our prayers have been answered. So if we pray today and afflict of all this, all that is going on in our world, let's follow the examples of those who really believe. The many people that I have visited in their homes and asked for healing and they were healed. But there were some whose prayers were not answered. They died. And yet their families have never lost their faith. The Lord's will be done. So then, we continue to pray. So let us pray. For Bishop Carter, our pastor. For Bishop Carter, our pastor John Peter. And all religious that by their witness to the power of the gospel, many will come to know and accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord For all world leaders and lawmakers, may they act wisely and compassionately, always working for justice on behalf of the most wonderful members of our society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Parents, grandparents, teachers, and all role models, that they will lead by example in word and action reflecting the wisdom of God, not, a, not that of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord God. For an increase in vocations to be ordained and consecrated life, for the greater honor and glory of God in service of God's people, we pray to the Lord. Lord God. For the health and safety of Pope Francis during his journey to Iraq, that his visit might promote peace, reconciliation, and dialogue, and that it will be a support to the struggling Christian community that we await the Lord. Lord God. For the end of the COVID-19 pandemic, the sick, the hungry, the homeless, may they experience the tender and loving compassion of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord God. For all the intentions of our St. Bernadette's community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the God of wisdom and truth hear our prayers and come to our assistance. Amen. 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 Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, and the praise of all your hands, and the good of all those on the church. Most merciful God, who are pleased to create and bless St. John of the Cross, the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptance. 
own sacrifice of reconciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly mighty, just, our duty, and our salvation. Always and everywhere give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. <laughs> Take this on you and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice. And once more, give me thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in your mind. mystery of faith. salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Only we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world that rendered the poems of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles, and to all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> Command and form, whereby teaching we dare to say, 
Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, now go in thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and give us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other in silence. sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Amen. I say to you that you who have left all and followed me will receive a hundredfold and possess eternal life. Let's pray. By the power of the sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of blessed Saint John. And bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Your Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Mass and let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Yes. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel. Friends of the battle. We are, are refuge against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God, God be with thee, we humbly pray. Do thou and heavenly hosts, by the power of God, to cast into hell with Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world. Thank you.